Welcome to day three of your Ramadan reset home workout. Mashallah, you made it to day three. Mashallah. That's awesome. It's so not proud of easy. you. And I'm it not just not. saying that. Day three, that shows your commitment, mashallah. Super proud. One, two, and three. There we go. Love it. So today is no more biryani belly, strong core. Yes, wait. You can still have biryani, right? <laughs> yes, and to find out how, make sure you click the link in the description to check out the Ramadan Reset Guidebook. Everything you need to know about healthy eating and exercise in Ramadan. Pause this video because it's something that you do not want to miss out on. And Absolutely. For those of you who have it, great job, mashallah. And those of you who have it, let us know what you think so far. Delicious recipes from around the world, traditional, ethnic, perfect for Ramadan, and secretly healthy for the whole family too. We've put all those recipes into an amazing meal plan, and it's so much more than the meal plan it's though. It's more than the meal Absolutely. plan. Absolutely. Everything to know about sleep and caffeine, and just managing your health holistically in we Ramadan. We take health very seriously in my fitness, yes, we and do. we do it from a holistic perspective. Yes, alhamdulillah. Everything together. Into one. And the best part about the book is that 100% of all profits will be going to charity. Alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. It's a twofer. You get to get <laughs> benefit yourself and alhamdulillah, you get sadaqa out of it. There we so go. it's a win-win. Awesome. All right, so let's get to today's workout. Let's do it. So today we have seven quick exercises. We're focusing on the midsection today, which includes your core. It also includes your back. So all of these are important muscle groups. So many people complain about back pain in Ramadan. So when we strengthen the core, we can help prevent that. Mm -hmm. So I need you guys to follow along. It's going to be quick and it's going to be over quick too. All right, so let's come down for your first exercise. First exercise is a hold ab hover. You know this movement. You're going to be legs flat. We did this in day one. We did. For the astute it observer. It is such a good move. You're going to be holding it just so that you feel your abs shake to hold you in place. And this time. I'm shaking. Good. This time we're going to add a twist. So just gently hold twist. Quite hold literally. it there. Hold and twist. twist. It is a twist. Hold it right there. Hold, hold, hold. Now, this should not be easy. You should be challenged. Your core should be shaking. That's how we know it's getting stronger. Back to center. Hold, 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 hold. All right. So you want to keep your knees nice and straight here. Come twist to the other side and hold it. So these holds are called isometric holds, which means your core is basically working super hard to keep you in there. And back to center. Nice job. Next move. Lie flat. Knees up to 90, beginner version first. One-legged leg lower. Very important, guys, is you keep your knees at 90. Don't bring them in towards your chest or else that's cheating. Now we want to stop at 90. Other leg floats down towards the floor. This is challenging, huh? Oh, yeah. So we want to stop here at 90 and keep your feet nice and high as you come back up here. So this is a beautiful movement to really get the core engaged and firing. And if you want a little bit of an extra challenge, can we go down with both legs? and back up to 90. Beautiful, so it's dropping it down and back up to 90. So this is a not a full leg extension. This is a double leg extension and we're coming back up. You are gonna feel that. And there we go, perfect. All right, coming back up to that ab hover. Back to the ab hover, but we're adding on. Bring your hands up overhead and just start zigzagging your arms. We call this a lobster twist, but you're gonna feel this in your core so much. So if you're really struggling, you can come up a little bit higher, but keep going with those arms they should be like a, a zigzag skiing or like two two uh what are those things called you know those treads yeah yeah the <laughs> poles the ski poles something like that so make them go zigzag keep going i want you to keep your legs straight on the floor make all the work happen here in your core 10 seconds left keep pushing keep pushing this is a beginner friendly movement because you can come up if you need to but i want you to be as low as your core can handle it and there we go <laughs> all right next one we're keeping up with the twist bending your legs plant your feet on the floor hold your hands like this and we're going into a Russian twist. So you're just going down again as Shut low as you can. <laughs> I hope his fight happened. So we're going to keep twisting one at a time on either side. What happens? Why are we twisting? Because your obliques, the muscles on the side of your core, that's how we work them. If this is really challenging, you can come up a little bit. No problem. Or you can take a quick second break and get back into it. We're doing twists. This is how we get the entire midsection involved. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'm so confident that he won, even though we're filming it before. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Great job. Okay, lie flat. 
arms overhead. We're going to go into a peeling pull. All right, so roll up as if we're, <laughs> we're pulling a piece of tape and then roll all the way back. So really important is you're scooping your back one vertebrae at a time. Roll, 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 and then slowly sliding him all the way back down. Pull, 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 pull. pull. There we go. And then gently roll back one vertebrae at a time. So it should be right now upper back, middle back, lower back, all the way up. And now other way around, lower back, middle back, upper back. Beautiful. Let's go. Upper back, middle back, lower back. And last one, down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. That was last one. <laughs> all the way up. And drop it down. Slow and control. Okay, flip it around. We're going into a plank. Turn over. Jump into a plank. Now, guys, plank is one of the most important exercises we all have to learn how to do. So your shoulders should be in line with your hips. We're going to be practicing this a lot in Ramadan because it's the perfect time. It's short, but it is a full body movement. So what I want to make sure is that your hips are not sagging. Your hips are not up in the air. It should be flat. This is how we protect your back. If, you're, if your back is like really low towards the floor, that's a lot of pressure on your back. So I want you to keep this nice and flat right there. Beautiful. Just a couple seconds longer. This is how we gradually create a strong core. This is the best exercise you can do. And three, two, one, drop it down. Final movement, bicycle, flip over, stretch both legs out. And we're going to be bringing one opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Bicycle crunch. This one is a burner. So go as fast as you can while still keeping nice control. Very important here. Do not pull on your head. So I want to make sure you're gently just touching the sides of your head. So if you can actually take your elbows a little bit wider, that will cause you to twist more. So really keep the elbows nice and wide. They should be just lightly tapping your temples. Don't yank on your head to hurt your neck. Gentle twist, almost there. Keep going, keep going. This is such a good burner. I want you to stretch that leg out flatter and longer, please. And there you go. <laughs> All right, great job, you guys at home. We're super proud of you. These are challenging movements, but they, they will get easier. So the first time you're doing it, maybe you have to take little breaks. The more times you do this, the easier this will become and the stronger your core will get. So we can't wait to be along for that journey with you. All right, let's do some quick bonus stretches. We're gonna have you come lying down, face down. Perfect. So you're just gonna kind of have your arms right tight to the side with your forearms on the ground. So we're gonna start off with a sphinx. So you're just gonna be gently pressing your torso up away from the floor. So notice how you kind of look like a sphinx. And this is starting to get this nice stretch in your core. Do you feel that? I can feel it. Definitely, you're gonna feel that right here. Now, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, I want you to just extend your and straighten your arms a little bit more to get a little more out of it. So here, he's in a kind of a little cobra position his arms are bent, holding his core up. And if you're really feeling flexible, you can straighten out your arms. How do you feel that, Zora? Oh, that feels really That's good. That's an amazing stretch in the core. And just like your strength, your flexibility is something we work to improve as well. This is the perfect time to stretch. You're warm, you're pliable, you're ready to do it. Make sure, guys, that you're drinking a lot of water in your non-fasted hours Ooh. to power your workouts. We're gonna shoot all the way back into child's pose, stretch away from it, tip to your finger forwards. Amazing job, guys. Amazing job. All right, we're gonna come up into our final stretch. We're gonna just be kneeling, face the camera. Now, what we wanna do, because we did a lot of work today, uh, just uh, sit up tall. We're just gonna sweep the arms overhead and come into a nice W stretch back there. So really picture you're pinching your shoulder blades together. Beautiful work. Guys, it is so important to make sure that you have the knowledge and tools you need to have your healthiest Ramadan ever. So make sure you click the link in the description to get the Ramadan Reset Guidebook. All the recipes, the dietitian's meal plan, everything you need to make fitness part of your Ramadan, sleep, caffeine in Ramadan, all your Ramadan questions are answered in this guidebook. You'll be using it for years to come. This is such an incredible resource that we really hope that you benefit from. 100% of the profits go towards Sadaqah. Alhamdulillah. So it's something that will benefit you and everyone else as well, inshallah. So we hope that you love it. We hope that you use it and see its transformational effects in your Ramadan. Beautiful. Shake off your arms over here. Nice job. Thank you. Don't quit on us. And thank you. <laughs> Great we job, love that guys. You're here. Stay consistent. We're going to see you at our next workout together. Stay blessed. And stay, and stay fit. fit. Salam. Salam.